2024, though, it's either the aliens or the election's gonna kill us. Oh, yeah. Like, Most... everyone's like, yeah, like, I'm glad you killed your mother. I was, like, hooking up with, um, two people. As you do. <laughs> sucked on a for so long that my upper lip got big. Got... <laughs> and happy Easter to me. Yay! Welcome back to the podcast. I don't know where I am. I know, it's been so long. What year is it? Is that bright enough on that side? Is that, like, fine over there, you think? Yeah, it's kind of casting a shadow. I, I feel very, like, Rick Glassman. Have you ever watched? That's not bright enough. That's not? Yeah, because it's casting a shadow on my face. Your face looks perfect. But my face? Is, like... Well, that's why that one needs to be over here. Because <laughs> then if that comes over... Oh, because I moved it. So it should be a little brighter and you might need to like tilt it. No, tilting it down on your face is probably fine. Have you ever watched Take Your Shoes Off podcast? No. <laughs> it's with this comedian Rick class when he goes over like stuff while like, ever for the first five minutes of every podcast. He's like, can you turn my mic up? I'm like, that's what I feel <laughs> like. Fan producers. I think that looks better. There's another pod yeah, it does. Yeah. There's another podcast that does that too, but I can't think of what it is. I um I know, I watch so many podcasts. Do you watch I am now. Like, I am now. I used to only listen to podcasts on Spotify, and then I realized I could watch so much more on YouTube. And now there's I'm so like, many. It's all I want to watch. The only thing I watch is Jersey Shore Family Vacation and podcasts on YouTube. Yeah, I know, me too. <laughs> That's really it. Um, I watched, oh, I got so excited. Why Women Kill. Did you watch that at all? <gasps> no, I haven't watched it. Oh, it's so good. I ate it up. I ate it, well. So weird. It's really loud. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> um, what was that on again? Paramount? Paramount Plus. Oh, that's why. Okay, so I have to get Paramount to watch it. I can it. give you yeah. my login. Okay. It's so good. I literally couldn't stop watching it. And so I think I like read up on it. It's like about um, a story, like a, a couple different stories. Yeah, it's like set up in the 60s, the 80s, and then 2019. Oh, cool. And it's three different stories focused on... Um, a woman from each timeline and like the 60s is like a housewife woman obviously because it's like all they did yeah and he's cheating on her obviously because that's what they did yeah and it's like a whole thing but then she becomes best friends with the mistress oh okay and then i like that giving jong tucker must die i haven't seen that <gasps> really no i saw it <laughs> but i don't think i finished it oh okay yeah um uh, but then the 80s is like this girl who's been married to this guy for like a really long time. They're honestly yeah. the perfect couple. And then you find out he's gay. Oh. And they haven't had sex in years. Oh, damn, So they're that like sucks. BFFs. Yeah. And it's so, that's my favorite one. That story is my favorite story. It's so good. And she kills him? You have to find out. Or you have to find, yeah, okay. That'll ruin it. And. That's crazy. The 2019s is this girl who's a lawyer. She's like hot bitch status, yeah. like independent bitch yeah and her husband is a guy who like sold one screen play oh okay. and then never sold again because he got sober oh and so they are that's so he was only good when he was fucked up yeah and damn so that sucks they're poly yeah. and they bring a girl into the marriage because but their their poly was like you don't bring your hookups home and you don't get emotionally attached you only have sexual hookups uh -huh. God, that was but me then, until like two years ago. <laughs> was I in this relationship? <laughs> but then um, the wife gets attached to this girl. Um, and then they bring her I in. I feel like that always happens. It does. They course. brought her in they as, brought her in. as the because like their unicorn. Because marriage, their marriage was falling yeah. apart. Mm -hmm. She was resenting him because he wasn't yeah. producing any money. She was the breadwinner. She did yeah. everything. It's like when couples have a baby. Yeah. That, well, that was their that baby. That they fuck. <laughs> like, okay, that's a little weird. I don't know. It's just going down a weird rabbit hole. Now. Like a surrogate. But yeah, so that's their story. They're cool. I love them too. But the first story is crazy. The bitch is crazy. She's fucking cuckoo for cocoa puffs. And so they all obviously kill. Yes. And so out of that story, we don't really know like who the they kill. The main woman is gonna kill, but you kind of don't know if it's gonna be the main woman. Like once yeah. you get more into the story, you don't know okay. who's gonna kill who. That's cool. But it's gonna be but a woman, woman be killing. killing somebody. Yeah. Okay, where it's fucking crazy. I could not wait to get to the end. The trans you're gonna appreciate like the way that they record it. Yeah. And like the direction and Okay, like, cool. It has good like cinematography yes. and stuff. Okay. And cool. the transitions to each story are Ooh. so good. Like okay. they'll be like, I'm gonna pour yeah, you I love a that martini shit. from the fifties because that's yeah. like pour your man a martini when he came home 
from work. Yeah. And then they have someone carrying a martini on a tray or something. Oh, I love that stuff. It's so Yeah, good. oh, we've done enough movie reactions, you know that I freak oh, out for that shit. It's so good. You're yeah. gonna love that. Cool. Yeah, I definitely want to watch that. I cried. Really? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. It's so good. We'll see if I, I cry. only cried at the 80s one. Yeah? That's it. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, because that's the gay besties? Yeah. Okay. It's so good. Cool. Yeah, I, I definitely want to watch it. There's been a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff has just happened in a week. I know. We haven't, like, seen each other So much and so, and so little. I know. <laughs> and, like, yeah, not even, like, personally to us, but just in the world. Yeah, just everywhere. Um, <clears throat> like, We usually Christmas. don't go this far from not seeing each other. I know. We usually... <laughs> this is, like, the best time to do a podcast. I know. I us. just want to, like, word vomit. Yeah, because we actually have things to talk about. Um, and we always do. Yeah. Even when we don't. Yeah, I know. We <laughs> so. still do. I don't know what's happening. How do we... Yeah, because we hang out every day and then we still, yeah. like, record what's going on. Yeah, and, and when we say we have nothing to talk about, we do. Yeah, we come up with hours. stuff. <laughs> um, I... The biggest update with me is that I miss smoking. Yeah, me if you guys too. Watch, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you've watched the podcast, you know that I'm usually vaping on here. And um, could be another... Like, it could be a reason why... Because they suppress videos for that stuff. So, oh, really? Yeah, which is not good. That's the only reason why we're not popular. We only have a weed vape now. Yeah. So let's see. Well, hopefully that. Let's try it. I haven't smoked. You haven't but anyway. smoked at all? Um, no. Those don't trigger me, but the menthol ones do. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's been um, 13 days, Taylor Swift. Hey. And I I do occasionally, like, you do these, like, Zins, uh, like, the nicotine packets, but they're just not the same. Are you doing it less on those, too, or just, like... Listen. Yeah. Yeah, I probably do like three packs a day. And uh, there are five bucks a pack. I'm like nodding like I know what yeah. that equates to. I have no idea. I don't know. What it, so there's 15 in the thing. It's $5 for 15. Oh, okay. So it's a lot cheaper. And it's just, um, I have coffee flavored ones. So I do that in the morning. It actually tastes really good. Oh, okay. And so while I'm drinking my coffee, like it, I have that in the car. Because that's where I really like to vape a lot is the car. Yeah. And then halfway through, oh, and I got a juicer for Christmas. It's been Christmas. It's been Christmas. It's been Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really been good Christmas. Stuff. I want to talk about stuff we got to. Yeah, we should. We can take a whole moment for that. We will. And um, so for lunch now, I have a juice, like a homemade juice. Ooh, like what? And I'm on that juice like grind. Like spinach, carrots, apples. Yeah. Yeah, so I like the green goddess. I usually do, like, um, apple, pear, cucumber, and kale. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> 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 That's wild. Mm, yum. Um, and then today I had, like, orange <laughs> carrots. Um, orange carrots. Orange carrots. What color are they? And they're, ginger. They're orange. There's just orange. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're just orange carrots. And then I had, like, blue carrots. And I, had... <laughs> I did make... Purple potatoes for the first time ever. Oh, really? I like, no, that was a thing. Like russet or whatever? No, they're purple potatoes. They're oh, called work. gourmet purple mm. potatoes. I like that. And I roasted them with Ooh. Brussels sprouts. What they Did they take the jokes well? Um, no. Yeah. You're like, oh, wait, <laughs> purple, you look like the hamburger. Wait, no. No, they didn't. What's the, wait, no, what's not hamburger? My eyes twitching. Grimace. Because <laughs> you're, roast, Grimace, you're yes. roasting the potatoes. Yes. Oh, look at Grimace over there. Yeah. They're like, no, you have to, like, roast them in the oven. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been making juices, and then I have, like, my citrus flavor with the juice. <laughs> Zen. And then now I have peppermint. Are um, you scared that this is going to be a hard habit to break now? No. No. Um, because I'm, like, getting sick of it. That's good. Like, I don't even, like... I'm doing it now as, like, a preventative of, like, when I know I'm going to a situation where I'm going to vape. Yeah. So, like, I brought them here because, like, when I'm just chilling and vibing, I like yeah, doing it. Yeah, me too. But it's just, like, it's not like vaping. Like, if you just keep putting them in your mouth, like, you just get, like, a headache. Like, it because yeah. it's just an overdose of nicotine. Yeah, it's kind of like a weed vape. Like, if I just yeah. keep hitting it and hitting it and hitting it, it's, like, overkill. It just gives me a headache and it doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, so it's not... Ooh, this one tastes good, though. Yeah. But, like, so it's just not the same. I do like them, and I am starting to kind of like, like, the burn when I put it on my lip, <laughs> which isn't good. That's not good. Uh, but <laughs> I also just can't because it, like, makes you, it kind of makes your gums, because you put it in the upper lip, makes it feel like you just ate a bunch of Sour Patch Kids. Mm. So there's sometimes where I'm like, I don't even, like, want to put a pouch in there. I'm like, my gums need to rest. 
So I'm just gonna have like popcorn. This is giving gum. me a flashback to this one time that I hooked up with. <laughs> It's a flashback to a sex story. Yeah. <laughs> okay, first one on the podcast. Okay. Um, I was <gasps> Did she up... stick fucking no, Sour Patch Kids up there? No, nothing crazy like that. Oh, okay, because you'd eat. <laughs> I was like hooking up with um, two people. Yeah. And I had As you do. <laughs> sucked on a clip for so long that my upper lip got big. Got... <laughs> That's so funny. It was literally like. You're like pruned. Yeah, it was. That's wild. It was. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to prune your lips. Yeah. My, and mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to prune my lips? Which ones? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll prune yours while I... <laughs> you have like a lisp even, after? Yeah, like, I <laughs> did. I, it was embarrassing. I, I had to walk around like this. I was like, you guys can't look at me. <laughs> yeah, it's like um, when you get like Novocaine or whatever at the yes, dentist. Yes, that's what it felt like. <laughs> Damn, so I was down there for so long. Yeah, I'd be like, damn. <laughs> oh my God. This bitch fucking Nova candied my ass. Yeah, she did. Um, yeah, so <laughs> vaping, I miss you. <laughs> this is a PSA. Children, don't start vaping because it's great. Yeah. It's one of the best feelings ever. Yeah. When you're not doing it, and then when you smoke when you're actually vaping, you're like, whatever. No, it feels good all the time. It does feel good all the time. But it feels so good in hindsight. But it's not the same. Yeah, I remember it more. Yeah. I almost said more fondly. <laughs> <laughs> it's how it is, though. Like, I remember it more fond. Yeah. <laughs> like, it then, in, I just don't think I, but I think that's just life or any existence in general. I loved when I, like, starved myself of it and then gave oh. it to myself. Oh, just starve in general? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, um... I'm a pleasure delayer. I love that shit. Like, when I would go to the dentist, and I'd come out and be like, God, it's been two hours. I can't wait to hit this fucking thing. And then you'd hit it, and you're like... <gasps> yeah, that was the best. Oh. When it's been a while. And it's so hard with vaping. <laughs> yeah, when it's been staying. Yeah, because you can do it all the time. Yeah, like, with cigarettes, that is, like, if you're at work and you need to actually go take a break. That's, like, why it would be when I go to the dentist. Because that's yeah. the only time I would not be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I can't think of another scenario. I a plane. Root canal and I'd no, be like, I was vaping on a plane. You were? Yeah. Like, it's probably not great. I don't think I ever flew on a plane when I was vaping, so. Yeah. I caused 912. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> no, uh, I don't think they didn't catch me. Oh, it is scary, though, vaping on a plane. Yeah. That's when you know in, you have an issue. You get in trouble. I remember, like, I kind of like. did it in the bathroom, though, and they wouldn't know. I probably did yeah. it in the bathroom. Yeah. Um, I. Knew I had an issue like Mile when, High Club. Yeah, Mile High Club. With my V. Nicotine High. <laughs> I uh when I would just empty my pockets and I have like th like two to four vapes on me at all times. <laughs> that was me at Disney on Ice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a week ago. I had this in my pocket. And yeah. He's like, go ahead, go through, because I put my purse and shit yeah. on the thing. <laughs> and then he's like, Oh, you got anything in your pockets? I'm like, ah, just a vape. Yeah. I'm like, it's not weed. It's yeah, it's promise. not weed. He's like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, He's like, wait, I think it's weed. Yeah, I'm like, like, it's, it's not a weed. children's show, and I'm like, yeah. oh, it's just a vape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, all the other kids here have the vapes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was, like, I would just have, so, I had, ever, like, a bunch of different flavors, different brands I'm yeah. pulling out. It was just too much. And it's so expensive. It's so expensive. Compared to Zinning. Oh, I love elf bars, though. Zinning. They're so yeah, they are the best. What were the other um, ones? Puff, I think is what they're called. Yeah, I don't really even remember the brands. I just... Oh, I made some good-ass dinner tonight. I made beef stroganoff, um, Ooh. Um, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Oh, wow. That sounds really good. Yeah, like I combined Whoa. a Philly cheesesteak and a beef stroganoff together. Whoa. That's dope. Yeah, it was so good. I just had salad with, like... <laughs> Grilled chicken. The most it. fattening thing. And you're like, I had salad. Yeah, I <laughs> had salad. I'm trying. That's one of my New Year's. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about that. It's, we had Christmas. It's going to go into New Year's. Yeah. What is your... Do you have any resolutions? Yeah, I need to, like, work out and not be the weight that I am right now. I just weighed myself in, in general. <laughs> when I was like... And I'm feeling good today. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, that, that's not when you weigh yourself. Uh, yeah, I know. I just figured that out. I <laughs> it, went out in the lobby. It's when you want emotionally cut. That and is... I fucking stepped on that scale and I was like. Yeah, that. I know that scale sucks because it only goes up to 220. And so when I get on it, it just says error. <laughs> Which is like. It didn't say error, but it said too many. Yeah. 
<laughs> said too many. Yeah, it said too many. Like, you need to calm down. But it's This so is for golden retrievers, not for you. Yeah, yeah. You're like, like, Are you a Great Dane? Yeah, I'm like, is a Great Dane Is this a Great right Dane? Is this a Newfoundland? Is this a Pyrenees? St. <laughs> Bernard. Is there a Malamute in this Yeah, <laughs> we're just listing. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's... N for someone with, like, eating disorders to yeah. have a skill to say error isn't good. <laughs> no. And I should have known that because I know it goes only up to 220. But you did it anyways. Yeah, I just did. Just like I just did. Yeah, because you know it's not going to be good. I came out of the bathroom and I was like... Yeah, fuck okay, it, let's see. Let's do it. Let it no, rip. don't. Yeah. Don't. So that is a resolution of mine. <laughs> I like how, like, your your resolution was like, I just don't want to be the way I am. <laughs> I just don't want to be the size that I am. The way that I am is fine. Sort yeah. Of. But the size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I really want to go on Ozempic. I do, too. But. I want to stab myself every day. I know. And say, stop eating. I don't think it's going to work for me, though, because Ozem I my issue with eating is not because I'm hungry. So, like. Sometimes it's not that for me either. But if it actually, like, makes you physically ill to eat, like, I don't think it's supposed to. I definitely do that sometimes. Then I guess you... No, but Ozempic will, like, make you sick so you can't eat. Oh. That's, but I won't. If that, I'm nauseous, I will not eat. And that's what it does. So I guess, like, because... But I don't know. I've heard people eating through it. And I think I, I would, can't. I think I would pay the 300 bucks and then eat through it. I have way too much trauma with nausea. Oh, yeah. I can't. So it might work for you. Let's do it. Where, um, how do I sign up? You can go online and you have, like, telehealth. No way. Oh, and also what I want to do, not sponsored, of this thing called Mind Bloom, and it's ketamine therapy. I've heard of that. Yeah. I'm I want to I wanna do it, too. I'm signed up. I was also so depressed this last week. It was crazy. Yeah. Like, I'm doing a little too. bit better today, but... Yeah, <laughs> me too. A little bit. I was, like, sleeping on the couch before here, and I was like, no, I need to go and podcast and be in a good mood. I was getting weird sleep schedules and insomnia yeah. and like yeah, because she's been out I've for a week. Barely been smoking weed, like at all. That's the biggest red flag that something's going. Yeah. On. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Like the whole day would go by, and I'm like, mm, I guess I can't. I don't want to. And yeah. then I like wouldn't until way later into the night because I was. So that is a depression thing. That is like a pleasure delaying yeah. thing. That's like a. I don't like starving. Yeah, You're starving yourself of your vice. For a vice. week and a half. Yeah. And I think the ketamine therapy is going to work. Like, I want to try it. I've heard good things. I've heard really good things about ketamine and shrooms. So they go through, like, it's like a telehealth thing. You talk to a doctor. They give you these lozenges. You put the lozenge in your mouth. You listen to a meditation. And they give you, like, a weighted eye thing. Yeah. And then you just fucking trip out. But you go into your subconscious and your trip is, like, all yourself working out your inner demons. It's the same thing with shrooms. Yeah. And that's what I want to do. I'm scared to do it, though. I I think I genuinely need, like, an actual licensed guide, though. Yeah. Because, like, I've done shrooms by myself. Yeah. But, like, I need a guide. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. I want to try that. I don't know how expensive they are. I don't either. But I want to try it out. I think that would be, like, a fun thing. Like, I mean, and shrooms are supposed to be so good for so many different mental health things. Yeah, and then, yeah, because I don't, I could get some shroom chocolates too, like, but I don't want to do it for, like, fun. I want to do it for actual. Yeah, I want to do it for both. For mental health. But yeah, it will be fun too. But, like, tripping, um, it's a wild thing because you, like, get into your subconscious, I feel yeah. like. And, like, you're opening up, like, you're existing like, how you're supposed to. Yeah, that's how, how it feels every time. And, like, when you do shrooms, I I feel like the group you're with is also super important. Yeah. Because whoever you're with and who is ever on shrooms, you are going to be on the same wavelength if you stay together. Yeah, you are. It's crazy. Like, you will have the same hallucinations. You will, like... Betty! <sighs> what are you doing? Are you itchy? It yeah, just feels like you're you on will. the same different planet i know it's crazy let's go to the place in midsummer and do it i would love that <laughs> that'd be fierce that movie's wild it is wild but yeah it's worth watching um yeah so i'm thinking about getting some ketamine <laughs> therapy because i think that like could really help what's going on up here yeah but no my my new year's resolution is to um 
like be healthier. I already quit vaping. Yeah. Which is so hard to do. And I mean, I'm only like day 13, but I think I I'm, still get triggered. Me too. Like all the time I just miss, like I really just miss smoking. I love smoking. It's so fun. It's so good. The activity of doing it is amazing. I literally miss cigarettes still too. Oh yeah. Like so much. Since I quit, so I, when I was vaping, I hated the smell of my boyfriend smoking yeah. a cigarette. Yeah. And now that I quit, or oh, now that I quit though, like I've been kind of like. Oh no, I hate it still. I've been enjoying the I only like the smell when I'm smoking cigarettes. See, that's the thing. So if, cause he smokes outside, but sometimes he'll like leave the screen door open a little bit. And so if I get a whiff of like a fresh yeah, cigarette. Yeah, that's different. And it also, the like, smell on the skin is different. Yeah. That shit's like. Hard drugs. Yeah, it is. When I was smoking cigarettes in high school and I would have to like go a couple of classes without skipping to go smoke. Yeah. I would sit at my desk and be like. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Sniffing. I know. And so, but I don't like the smell of like stale smoke or someone smoking no, that's inside. No, sick. That's what I hate. Or like when someone's smoking and it's raining. Oh God, yeah. That that's smell the worst. smells like mildew. Yeah. It's gross. That's the worst. But like, I don't know. I just. I don't know. Why is smoking so good? I don't know. It's, it's like, clinically insane. It's but, so good. But I want to go in and, like, talk to my, like, inner self. I know. And just be like, why do you like smoking And so it's much? crazy because, like, I already got addicted to cigarettes before I even actually inhaled them. It's like the act of smoking. It is. Also. Yeah. But then, I remember the first time I do it. Yeah. So I did the same thing when I was young, like, when I was 12 or and whatever. being, like, a pleasure to layer, it yeah. made me hooked even more. Me too, because I remember, I remember exactly the first time I inhaled. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually a really fucked up story because behind that night that I did. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's get into it. But I, I just want to say, there is a difference, though. I'm, like, ready to spill all my tea. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. When I smoke, though... Maybe it's because I drank, and I haven't drank in, like, Oh, yeah, forever. probably. Yeah. <laughs> I, um... Like, because I thought I was inhaling. Yeah, me too. Well, and no... I don't know what I thought. I, I was just an ignorant I'm pretty child. sure I thought I was, and then when I really did, I was like, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. But what happened when you first inhaled? Do you want the backstory first? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> the person I lost my virginity to, which is also the only person I've ever been married to and had a child with. Okay. Yeah. Back in high school, way, way, way back when yeah. we first started talking. Yeah. He... We were talking. He went and started to make out with my best friend at the time. Oh, wow. And we'll call her Jessica. Yeah. Okay. And Fuck Jessica. Yeah. Fuck Jessica. <laughs> Not that anybody watches this or anything, but I'm I'm just going to use a fake name. Yeah. So. Yeah. You might as well. Him and Jessica go and fucking make out. Yeah. When we had been talking for like two weeks. Yeah. And we had already made out and everything. At Jessica's house. High school boys are so stupid. And. His best friend came to make out with her that night that we made out the first night. What? Whoa. Okay. So the first night we ever made out. So you guys are just like, like, so the best friends are like fucking yeah. with each other here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it gets worse. Yeah. So the first night that me and my baby daddy made out, he brought his best friend to make out with my best friend. Okay. So. Then he wanted to make out with the best friend. Like so the then <laughs> behind my back, my, before he was my baby daddy, baby daddy. Goes to her house one day after school and makes out with her. Wow. So then I said, hmm. Yeah. We're going to play this game? Yeah. I was like, hey, why don't you guys come over to my house? Because my dad's going to be working all night tonight. Yeah. Guess who I made out with that night? The best, his best his friend. His best friend. Yeah. Work. And guess who sat in my room awkwardly? Dressing for revenge. Who? My best friend and my ex, my, my baby daddy. Because they're just they sitting were there so up. uncomfortable that I upped them and said, no, I'm going to make out with your best friend now. Yeah. And they're just there. They just sat there. That's wild. They didn't even do anything. <laughs> so after I'm straddling this boy yeah. in my living room and let them have my bedroom and everything. That's so funny. Because I was so confident that they weren't even going to do shit that I was like, yeah. have my bedroom. Yeah. Like, have fun. Have my bedroom. Yeah. They didn't even, they yeah. didn't even fucking sit in the Vibrator same. Vibrator in the drawer. Yeah. yeah. They didn't even sit in the same. It's an electric toothbrush. They didn't yeah. even sit. <laughs> They didn't even sit in the same vicinity. Yeah. He sat in a chair in the corner of my room while she sat on my bed waiting for him to make a move. That's funny. And I'm straddling his best friend on my couch. That is a power move. So then what happens so after then this? We're done making out. So yeah. we decide, let's go have a cigarette. Yeah. We go outside and I'm smoking. And then the guy goes, are you inhaling that? And I said, 
yes. Yeah. And I go. <sighs> and then it all <laughs> hit me. You're like, whoa. From, That's a lot of things happening at once, yeah. though. And I just had to play it off. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even cough. Yeah. That's wild. That is like. And then I got that like. Yeah, the tingly feeling when you got the high. already been drinking my dad's vodka. Oh, wow. So especially drunk. And it was Easter. <laughs> so then. <laughs> I like how your dad was gone on Easter. But okay. He was. He was working overnight. Yeah. And so he comes home early because he wasn't working overnight. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck, that's my dad. Yeah. <laughs> I see his car pull in. And I'm like, you guys gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So they run out the front door as he's walking up to the front door. Oh, damn. And then he goes... Did you just run out of my apartment? And no, they go, no, no. And they fucking ran. Oh, so it was an apartment building. So he yeah. didn't know. Okay. Yeah. So they fucking dust behind him yeah. ran. Because my dad's a scary dude. Yeah. And he comes That's in funny. the apartment. He goes, Emily. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah. You're like, damn. He comes out. I mean, dude. I go out into the kitchen and yeah. he goes, did those two boys just leave our apartment? And I was like. No. Was your girlfriend still there? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Because if I would have said no, I don't think you understand. Yeah. The carnage. Yeah, it's better. It's happened. honestly always better to be, because it is stupid, because stupid to lie anyway, because you would know. It literally scares me to think yeah. if I would have said no. I was yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, they were. He was like, he didn't say anything. He didn't move. And I was just standing there like waiting. Yeah. He takes his vodka bottle and goes. And happy fucking Easter to me. <laughs> and then walks into his room and closes the door. And I just like stand there. I don't move. Yeah, that's really awkward. Because we drank all of it. And it was a big ass bottle oh, of Oh, damn. So he did that with the empty bottle? Yeah. Oh, that's awkward. Did he have any other alcohol? Of course. Oh, okay. I was going to say. <laughs> if he's like. So then I just stand there. I'm like, I don't fucking move. I don't blink. Yeah. I barely breathe. That's so awkward. He comes back out of his room after like a couple minutes. And he goes. I remember exactly he said but he said something and then we laughed and i like i had to laugh with him yeah like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like flickerman laugh on yeah uh, and he goes, games. i'm going out so oh word. have a good rest of your night and i was like okay so is this like the first time he caught you with like boys and stuff or like partying no because how old are you uh like 15 16 okay because i was gonna say he might just 15. be like because if I was, because now I'm looking at that through like an adult lens, like from your father's perspective, yeah. and I just probably would just be like, the fuck do I do? Yeah. Like, how do you, like, I wouldn't know how to like punish. And he wanted to go out. So he's like, you know what? Yeah. When he she just wanted to. didn't lie to me, so I'm going to let it go. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of probably would prefer that. Me like, too. Just be like, always be honest. Yeah. Me too. Because, yeah. I remember my mother used to always tell me, just be like, if you are somewhere and you know, you're going to have to drive when you're drunk, just call me. Yeah, my dad, if you lie to him, it's a whole different fucking yeah. thing. Which I respect that, though. Yeah. Someone that doesn't like liars, because lying is annoying. You and it's, like, fine. Yeah. Or not fine, but Not fine, but way better. Way better. Yeah. You lie to him, and it's like he does, you, He sees red. You don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lying is really fucked up. Yeah, so then I was, like, texting him. I'm like, like, you're good. My dad's not mad yeah they're like what the fuck yeah like okay i just ran from like two towns over yeah. back to my house oh yeah because then he left yeah so do you have him come back no oh, fuck yeah. you. <laughs> that's a power move though yeah yeah that's fair so then what happened though so you and your friend were you still fine with her like the crazy thing is is like because i feel like yes. girlfriends are different like you can like do shady shit to each other and just be like okay yes and no like, the ones yeah. that do shady shit to you, like, it kind of depends on the situation. Yeah. But the ones who do shady shit to you will probably always do shady shit to you. Like, the same yeah. girl. We were best friends for a while. And then me and Devin got, or <laughs> me yeah. and my baby daddy got <laughs> married. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe it. Um, we got married. And then um, uh, once we were separating... He came to me because, like, we're still friends. Like, yeah. I've known you since I was fucking 15 years old. Yeah. And above all else, like, we were friends. Yeah. So he came to me and he's like, oh, uh, Jessica was, like, trying to hit me up and see me when I came to Fl uh, Florida on leave or whatever. Oh, really? So when to... did he say this? 
Uh, when we were separated. Oh, okay. So after she was okay. trying to hook up with him. Oh wow! Like recently separated. Yeah, not recently. Not but recently, like the, but, but this... when we were separating, yeah. when she found out we weren't together, she hit wow. him up. Wow! This is years later. Years later. Ew! And we didn't talk to her. That's wild. As people, a group. Yeah, people always come out of the woodwork like that. Yeah, that is wild. So like the people who do it to you will do it to you. Yeah, you really gotta like listen to people when they tell you who they are. Like she, yeah. When yeah. she showed her colors, she showed him again as soon as I left him. Yeah. She was trying to fucking get in there. <laughs> I know. And that's what always happens, really. And I was just like, but wow. For... She was trying to, like, meet our child through Ew, him. What? To, like, yeah. It was, like, crazy. That is nuts. And I hadn't even talked to her. Yeah, because people hold on to these things. Like, she might have yeah. had this, like, weird connection yeah. crush thing with him. Yeah. Like, even from back then. Yeah. Like, that is... it. It is wild. Gross, icky. Yeah. So I just ended up blocking her on everything. Yeah, that's like, the girl, smart move. <laughs> sorry, but I can't have you in my life if you're going to It do honestly, that. it's better for you to like just block people. Like that's yeah. what I like to do when there's someone that I know shouldn't like the bridge is burned, it's never going to like Yeah. All the branches don't exist. And she didn't think we were going to be talking to each other on that's any the, amicable level. Yeah, so that's the thing too. Yeah, she didn't realize. Yeah. Because, and, like, it's weird with me and him. Like, one second yeah. it's fine, we can talk like friends, and the next second it's, like, tumultuous again. Yeah. But we both have a lot of resentment, so. Yeah. <laughs> I did do him dirty. Yeah. <laughs> but he did, too. He did, too. Yeah. So he just needs to get over it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, friends are weird. Like, I, um, I had a best friend that impregnated my <laughs> sister. <laughs> Um, oh, God. and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and th that's a thing and we're not best friends anymore. Ew. Um, and yeah, and it's just how it went down though with yeah. that one. It's not just the impregnating my sister because oh, there's so much more. There's like so much so more. Much more. <laughs> we don't need to like get in. That one reminds me of mine. Yeah. Like the more recent one. Oh, Okay. That makes sense. Because we actually did things. Yeah. And, like, I know that you never did, but, like, yeah, there was actually sustenance there. Yeah. And she did get with one of my exes also. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Like, the thing that happened, like, with my... So, like, the, I had, like, a really weird story. The thing is, though, I know that he's never going to watch this. <laughs> So it's fear, so I can talk about it. I, it was just such a weird relationship. I don't know if, like, gay people out there can um, relate to being friends with a person that identifies as being straight. And yeah. And they're just being, like, weird tension. Even if you yeah. don't want there to be, like... Multiple people. And then from the straight person, they're the ones giving the weird energy. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, you're claiming... Yeah, to be I'm just chilling, and you're, yeah. like blowing yeah. this shit at me. And I'm like, like and you're megaphone. claiming to be straight. Yeah. And it was just like a weird obsession. We became like roommates. He didn't want to like ever do anything sexually or like be with me, I don't think. But it was just more of like a wanted to be platonically together. Yeah. And and then when and then the he didn't have sex with any women for the years that I knew him except for my sister. Which is really weird. And so this is <laughs> and it's give and like he did just do like weird things that like would give gay vibes <laughs> yeah and i'm like is this gay like, yeah i don't know what's happening are we getting by curious like... yeah and i didn't want to like I, maybe in the beginning before i really like knew him but like once i friend zone someone it's yeah. kind of like it crosses a line where i'm like ew like it would just be like it would to me it would have been like having sex with my brother yeah and so it was weird and it was just i so this relates to I watched Saltburn. <laughs> I started watching it, but I'm not very far in. Okay, Saltburn is a movie. But from just the beginning, I can see what it's about. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's Saltburn. Okay, this has been like blowing up on TikTok. Am I in love with him? Yeah. No. Yes, you are. Yeah, yes, you are, girl. Literally, yes, you are. Look at you. So that so it's giving like that character is him. And I, well, this is, because in the movie, I would be the straight one, which makes no... Nate Jacobs. Nate, ja I would be Nate Jacobs. <laughs> I don't know what his name is. Yeah, um, uh, Alordi. Nicholas Alordi or something, yeah. his name. Um, what's his, he's like six foot five. He's like the new heartthrob. Everyone yeah. thinks he's hot. Even though I hate him from, I don't think he's from Euphoria. Um, 
this movie is oh, fuck. I really want to talk about it, but I can't spoil it. Yeah, don't spoil it. Okay, it's oh my god. So you haven't even seen the bathtub scene. Mm -mm. No, I'm very, <laughs> very, very in the beginning. Okay, so it's wild. Next time we do the podcast, because we're probably gonna do podcasts every other week, we'll talk about Saltburn. Because right now it's just it's it's wilding out, you guys. It is like I don't even know. Like it is gay filth. Mm. There's like gay filth. There's the characters in it are like crazy heightened, like wild, like rich characters that like the movie's so good, but it's also so disturbing on so many levels. And it's so like the twist at the end is amazing. And like where the character starts from where you are to where he ends is wild, the main character. Yeah, because he seems like the weird kid right now. Yeah. And like where it ends up and you meet all these crazy people. And the things that he does amidst, like, amid his obsession with Elijah, I think his name is. Or, no, Eli, Eli. I don't know what his name was. I don't know who's who. The, but I know Nate, Nate Jacobs. Jacobs. <laughs> He's obsessed with Nate Jacobs. Okay. And, um, and that's what it feels like. So, I guess I have to spoil this one part to make this make sense. But he fucks his sister. The main character fucks naked, Nate Jacobs. Naked. Naked Jacobs. <laughs> Nate Jacobs' sister. Okay. And so that's what it was like giving. I was okay. like, when I watched it, I was like, ooh, that's giving blank. Okay, so that's but further that's, feeding into this. Yeah. So that's what it made. I was like, oh, that's weird. Like, but I, I don't think um that's why my best friend hooked up with my sister. I don't know why. He, he's just weird. Maybe and, he was just like finally horny. Well, the thing is, though, is that he's, he won't try any, he won't try anything. Like, there's a lot of guys that just won't, they need things like handed to them. Yeah. Especially women. So, like, he was just around, like, sh like he worked at, like, worked on my, yeah. I had him, like, work on stuff in my salon, and they were just together every day. Yeah. And so then. it's just, like, a situational thing. And then after they stopped working together, he goes to there. So, it was just very, it's, if it's not, like, handed to her. And then, and she's not the type to, like, keep, like, at begging no, someone. No, 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 So, she was like, okay, like, if you're not going to try, yeah. I'm not going to try. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it was just, but that, oh, my God, I can't wait for you to watch that movie. It's so <sighs> fucked up. Like, now that I have that in, like, the background, I'm going to be like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was so <laughs> weird. Yeah, it's just, like, a... I, uh, to be honest, though, I need to tell you this when you go into watching this. I was, like... Equal parts creeped out and turned on. I love it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think it's going to be, like, for you because Ew. it's, it's um, the things that were turning me on isn't, isn't for, like, a lesbian eye. It's <laughs> for, for a lesbian eye. <laughs> like, it was, like, it would turn on a gay person, a sick gay person. It was, I'm like. I'm pretty sick. It was, like, the dark crevices of, like, gay porn yeah. when I get into it. And I'm, like, okay. But, like. It was just too much. Like, I couldn't jerk off to it, but, like, I was like, ooh. Like, it was, like, exciting. <laughs> yeah. It was a wild movie. It's like a little precursor. Yeah. Well, it was, it, yeah, it's very, like, the Skinamax. Do you remember yeah. those movies? No. Like, the on, like, Cinemax, they'd have, like, these, like, softcore porn movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And when you flip through to the movie channel. Yeah. Yeah. Those were actually kind of, like, fun. Like, what were the other ones? It was Cinemax, and one of them started with a P. Yeah, I don't remember. All I remember is, like, I don't remember, like, where they were, but I just It's all, it's way up there in the guy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and it's, like, on late at night. Yeah. And it's, like, they don't, like, ever really show anything. No. Maybe a nipple. It's, like, softcore porn. Yeah, it is. But it's, like, it's almost like every hotter. music video of today. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's kind of, now that, like, porn has become so fucking crazy. Yeah, it's better it's more way. It's more taboo to watch softcore porn. Yeah. It feels Unless like. Unless you're paying for it, then you're like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, because people are so desensitized. Like, I'm just watching just fucking, like, like five dudes tied up, hog tied, <laughs> just getting fucking, like. In the steeple. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> yeah, um, like, in a, uh temple synagogue temple whatever. yeah like mormons just fucking yeah. ripping their onesies open like it was like you watch the wildest shit so then when i watch softcore porn i'm like ooh, like this is naughty yeah. <laughs> like it's not people aren't getting yeah, destroyed it's like the opposite yeah <laughs> it's like ooh, i left a little to the imagination this is like really yeah really doing it um yeah so definitely watch Saltburn. everyone's like doing like reactions online on tiktok and stuff of like watching the bathtub scene and yeah. like just stuff like that um that was really good. I also wanted to talk about... There's a few things. Oh, yeah. Gypsy Rose is out. 
my girly. Yeah, so I'm so pumped. I am so happy for her. Her and yeah. her husband buying shoes and a new iPhone 15. And she's like... I have... I need to meet cons- Taylor Swift. I know. So I have concerns about the husband, though. Me too. I have a bad feeling about him. Yeah. Like, just because he met her through, like... While she was in prison and, like... Like a pen pal thing in prison. Yeah, I don't... That seems a little weird. I don't think that's going to last. And, and, and honestly, it just... I'm getting weird vibes from him. But we also maybe kind of have to trust her because, like, I'm thinking, like, she's easily manipulated, obviously. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. But maybe not, though. I mean, I'm sure she's so on guard of people now. But I think it's hard for people that have been so abused that way to, like, break the cycle. And I don't think she's going to instantly break the cycle while she's actively in prison. Did you watch the show? Yeah. Like, the Hulu show? Yeah. It's wild. It is wild. Fucking insane. Like, the scene when she, like, loses her teeth. She wakes up with no teeth. Yeah, because her mom ripped them all out. Yeah, that was insane. Like, that movie, the show, that just infuriated me, me the too. whole time. Yeah, did you see that they flushed her ashes down the toilet? Her family? No. Yeah, her mom's Wild. ashes were flushed down a toilet. Damn. <laughs> by, like, her sister or something. Yeah, her mother is fucked up. Like, I wonder, so her um TikTok following, like, went up to, like, Hundreds of thousands, almost a million. And instantly. Her husband also set up to have them filmed from the second she got out of prison until like now. Like they have a Did docu- she want that? I don't know. They have a docuseries going. Oh, you yeah. So, yeah. Her. So then she's probably making money off that then. Of course. Yeah. But that's cool. Yeah. He had it set up to where literally yeah. the cameras are in the car. Yeah. I mean, that seems weird. But then again, if she wants to make money, you might as well, girl, get. Wait, yeah. Because, I mean, she, a lot of shit happened to her that's really fucked up. Yeah. Gypsy Rose. But I think Rose. that's why she's not seeing that it's probably not a good good match. Yeah, like, I don't see this, like, marriage playing out well. I just hope that she is able to break the cycle. Yeah, that would be. I really hope she does. But and not continue to get abused. Yeah, because the story of that is just so insane that she forced her to act like a sick child. And to think. And then to, like, lie about her age and to just gaslight her into this life. And she, like, and I think, like, she claims that, like, she believed it for the longest time. And then realized, like, no, I'm fine. Until, like... She would go to bed and, like, realize that she could walk or, like, realize yeah. that she could eat sugar. And yeah, she'd that. go downstairs and, like, binge eat and yeah. stuff. Like, I related to that. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm really excited that Jim... And people are really on her side. Oh, yeah. Like, Most. everyone's like, yeah, like, I'm glad you killed your mother, bitch. It's and wild how we can rally. it could have been a better way. Yeah. But she did what she had to do. I know. She got out. Yeah, and no one... Like, it's kind of wild to think that, like... If the circumstances were different, we would be so mad at someone for killing their mother. But, like, we're, everyone's just like, kind of cheering her on for yeah, killing her Yeah, everyone's happy that her mother's ashes were dumped on a toilet. Yeah, like, a society can be weird sometimes. So weird. Like, and I agree. Like, I think her mother was horrible. Yeah. But I think that show really painted the mother bad, too, in people's eyes. Not yeah. And, like, obviously she was bad in real life. Because she obviously had a mental health problem. Yeah. Like, it's not just her fault. Like, you wouldn't yeah. blame somebody for bipol- with bipolar for, like, spending millions of dollars of money. Yeah. Like, it just, it does. Like, yeah, because, I mean, at the end of the day, there's no free will. <laughs> Get into the Sam Harris of it all. <laughs> right. Like, there's, there like... Go. No one chooses, like, the brain that we're born with and the circumstances that they grew up in. Like, it's just, we don't, like, choose. If you were in her mother's body and brain, everyone says, I wouldn't do that. I but wouldn't, but, but you would. would. Because that's just what happened. Okay, calm down, Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, yeah. yes, you would. <laughs> yeah, I know. Unfortunately, you would. You if would. you were in Jeffrey Dahmer's body and you brain, the way that all. he was raised and his chemicals that made up his brain, you would do the same and thing. And it's crazy that, like, a lot... I don't want to say most, but a lot of ser- serial killers were yeah had some sort of TBI, like traumatic brain injury, like yeah that happens a lot. They fell off a swing and hit their head, and were never the same after. Or like and that it's weird that so that that's another reason. So people we'll like we'll give people more like easy. Uh, we'll give people like an easier go if we know that like something's wrong with their brain. Yeah. But it's like even if there isn't something physically wrong with the brain, it's still something wrong with the brain. The to, brain. To be yeah. a, to kill people. Yeah. To like have a compulsion to kill. Yeah. But as long as there's not something physically there, they're like they're just fucked up. They're just fucked up in the head. And you're like, yeah, they are fucked up in the head. That's it's still like, it's, it, by saying like it is their fault, but they don't have free will in doing it. Yeah. So like it's not like. 
saying, it's not justifying what they did. Yes. I guess it's just giving an explanation. Yes. It's like for why they did it. So I don't know how you like treat that. Because sometimes they don't even know. Yeah. Like they're just like, I yeah. just felt like I had to. And yeah, so, so I did it's, it. it's really interesting. And a lot of people don't like the no free will theory because they really be like, I choose my, but it's just like, your the your choice choice is an illusion. Yeah. Like the choices that you think you're making, you're making because of the way your brain is, yes. is set up and the way that you the were way raised. The way society is set up, the way that yeah. like people taught you, like yeah, like you just think you're choosing things, but you're not. That's like, why like cult members are cult members. Yeah. Like people it's are born just, into cults and they believe that shit. Yeah, because we're just seeing things through like our physical like lens. Yeah. Of, like, our brain and, like, we're just, it, because, li like, our version of life is just really weird and primitive because we're just, we're finally, life is just the universe, uh, like, experiencing itself. Yeah. Which is very existential to think yeah, about. I don't like it, but I've heard <laughs> it before, so I can let that one roll off. And <laughs> so if life is just the universe experiencing it. Ex itself we're just experiencing life through the lens of this physical body but there's like so much more to experience so we can't like it's just it's getting real existential yeah if i get into that stuff but it's wild um wait this all started from our new year's resolutions did it? <laughs> i just didn't want to be fat anymore yeah i know me that's either. it like 2024 yo it's we're gonna like either did the alien y'all yeah, y'all. That's my new thing. No, I don't know. <laughs> Is it? Or did I say yo? Y'all? If you said y'all, I'm a little scared. Am I listening to too much Trailer Trash Tammy? Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> y'all got a cigarette? 2024, though. It's either the aliens or the election's gonna kill us. Don't say kill. Stop saying kill. Oh, okay. Um, Unalive us. Stop saying For the any of that. We don't want to get demonized. I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be fine. We, yeah, I mean, we probably will be fine. Okay. I don't know, though. I'm taking a potty break. Yeah, let's take it. Yeah, let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back. And we're back. Thanks to the word from our sponsors. <laughs> I want a sponsor. <laughs> like, from AA? <laughs> yeah, I already have one. I don't answer his calls. Hitting. Um, he doesn't call me anymore. Um, <laughs> like my new wallpaper. Oh, I do like that. It's so cute. That is adorable. Well, what this? Yeah, no, her shirt is adorable. It is cute. Um, my dog got a got a hoodie. Oh, look at you. Um, yeah, so. I have been watching all of, like, a bunch of um, podcasts. Definitely, like, the canceled podcast. Yeah, me too. And all that stuff is so good. So, you heard about, like, the Matt Reif drama? Yeah. That he, like, was, um, he was hooking up with Brooke Schofield. Yeah. And, went, and a bunch of other women. And a bunch of other women. He went on their podcast, on Tana and Brooke's podcast, Canceled. Pretend like she, he didn't know her. Act like he didn't know her. And she just had to, like, go along with it. And she was like, I love him. He's a great guy. Yeah, she was just defending him. So anyway, so she goes on to just Trish, which I love I Trisha Paytas. Seen that. I want to see. So it. Trisha so Paytas good. is so good. I love Trisha. And um, she goes on to just Trish, and she's kind of talking about. So Brooke has like a BPD. Yeah. And um, so they were like relating on that, and then she was talking about her ex, and this like her uh, Brooke's ex is like. He acted like he was Australian. He put on a fake accent and it was just like fully like catfishing her in real life and just like lying about all this shit. She was going into this whole story and she's told this story before, but. Is that the one that did the fake apartment at the Airbnb? Yeah. Okay. So she's told the story before a bunch of times. So she's like, and that's when I heard. I smell coconut. Yeah. It was the air freshener. Oh. Yeah. And so that's um, like where I like originally heard, just recently heard it. And then I see a one of Brooke's TikToks of her just doing a green screen reacting to Matt Reif on stage telling that story. And he goes, so this girl I went on a date with told me about this guy she did. And he had a fake Australian accent. And Brooke's just like, sit, like sitting there like on the green screen just being like, it's wild. People are commenting like, how is this your life? What the fuck? And he says a girl I went on a date with. That's how he explained her. Uh -huh. I think that was his like reply to her like outing yeah. him, I guess. Yeah. 
Isn't that wild? Yeah. Like... He's such a dick. He really... I don't understand how, like... There, and then, like... It's because he spun this narrative into people... Making her look crazy. Making her look crazy. And his cancellation... Making it so his cancellation is that people were offended by his domestic violence joke. That wasn't what people had... They had an issue with, for one, him not being funny. Yeah. And two, just being, like, a loser, like... Yeah. Womanizer type of guy that just was... I don't know. He just wasn't funny. He was telling, like, jokes you wouldn't, like... 12th grade. Yes. Or when you're 12 years old. <laughs> but that's because he's finally peaking. Yeah. He's always looked like a prepubescent boy. Yeah. And now that he got plastic surgery that he's not saying he got. Yeah, which is so brand stupid. New fucking jawline and teeth. I know, and filler. And yeah. He did admit to the teeth, but still. Like, I don't know. And like, yeah, because that's not why people don't like him. Mm -mm. It's, just it's not because fuck. of that joke. He's fake. It's because the joke sucked. It sucked. He's fake. He's a womanizer. He's yeah. a fucking liar. Yeah, he's a liar. And he's just like going, he's actively going on podcasts saying like, I hate that my, most of my audience is female. Yeah. Like way to like, and then let's sprinkle some misogyny in there. Yeah. he Your act domestic violence joke could have been funny if you actually made it funny. Made it funny. I would have laughed, but it wasn't funny. Yeah. The joke just wasn't funny. He's just like, uh. She should be, she, apparently she doesn't cook because she has a black eye. I'm like, that's okay. Like, what, what year is it? I know. And then he went on to Jordan Peterson's podcast. You know who that is? Mm -hmm. He's like the guy that's like anti, like, woke culture. And oh, he's just, God, yeah. He's just very, like, he's, and uh, can, he hates cancel culture and all, yeah. which I agree. Cancel culture is ridiculous. Cancel culture is ridiculous unless it's like. Yeah. Relevant. Like, if somebody's like a pedophile or something. Yeah. And so this is like. Like, I don't know, like, he, um, and he went on there and was just kind of, like, making it sound like, oh, people are just too sensitive. <laughs> I love that that's always the... Yeah. You guys are so sensitive. But there was that one, um, clip from the Cancel podcast when he was on there and Tana, um, go, he goes, like, yeah, he's, like, they're just jealous of me. Like, the only reason why anyone hates anyone is jealousy. And then Tana goes, so people hate Osama Bin Laden because they're jealous? <laughs> And it's just such a serve. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, so it, that drama is wild. And then, so, and then, um, Tana recently went to the Steamies, this, like, online, like, streaming award thing, and hosted. The Steamies. The H3 podcast does it, like, H3 Studios. And so it's basically, they bring up the most, like, controversial topics of the year. And she went on there and just, like, kind of bombed. So, oh. <laughs> Trissa used to be on Frenemies, the podcast. Yeah. yeah. For, uh, H3 Studios with, like, the Ethan guy. And so, the Ethan guy, and they, like, broke up, like, the podcast, and they don't like each other. She walks out in an I Heart Trisha Paytas shirt <laughs> <laughs> to his, like, audience. Yeah. And they're all, like, booing and yeah. stuff. And, um, and she was just, uh... Just saying, like, <laughs> wild shit on there. She that almost, is so funny. She, yeah, she, yeah, it is so hilarious. She uh, got, like, a little too Tarantina. Of course. And, because uh, that's our, what our girl does. When was that? Um, Just, like, this past week. I thought she was, like, sober. Yeah, no, not anymore. Only for, like, a little bit? Yeah. Okay. And so she talks about it on the new Cancelled. <laughs> so you should watch it. It's the new Christmas one with Trisha. Yeah, I was, um, I think the last one I was watching was the Josh Peck one. So she was, like... Sober. Oh, yeah, back... Yeah, that was a while ago. That was, ago. like, a month ago. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> not that long Tana ago. Tana also has a boyfriend. I know, from Hawaii. Yeah, like... So, What's his name? Um, McCullough. Yeah. So, she's already... Culkin? Yeah, McCullough Culkin. <laughs> she's already, like, on to, like... Like, so many things happen yeah. in, like, a month. Yeah. But I love and Tana Mojo. it's kind of crazy how much that Brooke and Tana are talking about, I want to have a baby. Yeah, I know, because of Trisha. <laughs> Yeah. And because of Megan Trainer. Yeah, and Whitney Cummings has had a baby. Yeah. Like, like a lot. Did you see the one with Megan and Chris Olsen? Oh yeah. Oh that yeah, that was a really good one. It was a little I chaotic. Love Chris Olsen. Yeah, me too. It's just, it was a little chaotic, like just because like four people on a mic on a podcast is a little yeah. too much sometimes. And I feel like Megan Trainer is kind of a lot. Yeah. I didn't realize she was like that much. Oh yeah, she is. I've seen her on other podcasts. Yeah, she is. She's married to Spy Kids. I know. Yeah, that's wild. I know. <laughs> She is crazy, though. She's, like, on it. Yeah. I was like, wow, I didn't think she was, like, that girly pop. I know. But she is. <laughs> she is. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah, so that was some like interesting like podcast drama going on. That was really fun to yeah. watch. Yeah, I want to see that. Um, yeah, so in other news, the Epstein list got leaked on Twitter. Again? Again. And, and what are they doing about it this time? I really hope that it's not real. Which, which so, portion of the list is it? Because so, last time Beyonce was on it. Yeah, so this time... T-Swizzle? No, it's a Taylor clean. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. Um, but yeah, so we know about the Jeff Epstein thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Like him and Ghislaine Maxwell. Her name's he Ghislaine. Didn't kill themselves. But I like to call her Ghislaine. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even like blank to it's that. It's Ghislaine. I'm just like, yeah, Ghislaine. And uh, yeah, they're sex traffickers. <laughs> they would bring people to their island, make of them children have children, and yeah, not make them, but they would like coerce them into having sex or doing inappropriate things with underage women, children, whatever. Yep. Record it, blackmail them, blah yeah. blah, po- yep. high up politicians. But then there's also it's like this part of this like dark society that would help people become famous. So people on the list, um, Oprah. Yes. And Oprah has fled to Switzerland. She drew a hundred million dollars out of her account and is like, uh, and she was like, "Peace out." Has fled to Switzerland. Um, our there was gr- a lot of people on there. Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton. On this one, they used to go on the um, private jets with him to the island. That's yeah. So to be yeah, the Clinton stuff. I think my prediction is Bill Clinton's gonna die next year. <laughs> I think there's gonna be. <laughs> we a need lot to make twenty twenty four predictions, but th- this one's gonna hurt you. Why? <gasps> no. Of who's on the list. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Stop. But I'm I don't... Right there. I don't know if this is real. But I think some of them are not, yeah. you know, fucking children. They're just going there to party. Yeah, in for the USA. Yep, that's who it is. God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Miley Cyrus is on the list. Um, But we don't know. Like, if... So, this is... You're a, like, Taylor Swift is clean, but... Yeah, Taylor Swift is clean. Um... And it's just cool because Taylor's not cool enough to go to Epstein Island. That's why we love her. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I think Miley was just going there for the drugs. Let's hope. And well, also it's just like a thing that celebrities like did though. Yeah, it wasn't. It's not. I, th- I don't think it's always. Like I think there's secret sections. Like I don't think it's every celebrity on the list does that shit. Yeah. So this is like literally saying fake. But this is like a bunch of like there's so many people. Akon, not my girl. Akon. Yeah, Akon's on there. Barack Obama. Barack Obama, Ben Affleck, Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders, Bill Gates, Bill Clinton, Charlize Theron, um, Cher. He's going through it right now. Oh, I'm sorry, gays. I mean, Chris Tucker, Chrissy Teigen. That's not shocking. Is um, what's his name on there? John Legend. Yeah, <gasps> there he is. <laughs> David Spade. Oh, that's wild. Um, George Clooney, Ghislaine, obviously. <laughs> um. Gwen Stefani. Heidi Klum. That's not surprising either. James Franco, of course. James Gunn. I mean, that makes Jim sense. Jim Carrey. Yeah, he's been fucking outing people. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Um, Kathy Griffin. I love her. And Katy Perry. I love her. Cave- Lady Gaga. Madonna. Oh, Miley Cyrus. Meryl Streep. Eminem. Michelle Obama. Like. Is Donald Trump on there? Oprah. Nope. I don't. Drew Barrymore. Ellen. Robert De Niro. Jay-Z. Whoopi Goldberg. (gasps) Sarah Silverman. I love that comedian. Why is it like all Democrat people? Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, see, I don't know. I feel like this is the list that's like leaked all throughout Twitter. I don't know if it's like all real or what this actually means. Like who's this sharing it. Who's who's that? Um See, I don't really go on X. Who's this? Cuz they're verified. It's AKA <laughs> AKA face shots. Yeah, but anyone can be verified on Twitter now. You just pay for it. That's true. Like, Damn it, I hate Elon Musk for that. Yeah, like, it's X doesn't mean anything anymore. So I don't know if this is real. I don't know if we're spreading, like, false shit, but that's what this podcast is. Like. Yeah, but 
Donald Trump and Melania Trump were on the first list. Oh, yeah, definitely. they go all the time with It's basically private. every celebrity. So that's why I'm thinking it's not all these people are fucking kids. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that they were just tied up in there and they're like, because there's this thing, too, that's like a rumor around called, like, the gold juice. If you're offered this gold juice in Hollywood, like, they'll, like, get you into shit and that's how you make it big. Another crazy um, conspiracy theory with the Epstein Island is that celebrities would trade out their kids... For different babies. Yeah, that makes sense. To have like Madonna more did that star, star struck babies. Yeah. And people. To create Nepo babies. Yeah. Yeah. Like this shit is weird and wild. Like if they get a dud baby, they're like, no, give me a, a yeah. star baby. Yeah, I want a better one. Yeah. What is this? They trade them out. Yeah. They're like, what is this? My kid going to be a plumber? I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> I know. It's not okay. Like, I just. I wish I, I like, sometimes I just wish I could be like knowing some things in life that like us small people don't know. I know, but I think we're eventually going to start like learning everything. I wish, I hope, because that'll be so cool to like, be like, damn, Beyonce <coughs> really did trade out her baby for Blue Ivy. Yeah, like, that would make a, sense. That's not even her kid. <laughs> yeah. She had a green Ivy. Yeah. Which makes more sense. Yeah. And they're like, no, it's blue now. No, it's blue. <laughs> She's like, but I like green. Yeah. Jay Z's like, what about green? She's like, it's blue. Yeah. Yeah. And like Beyonce's real child is like on the island. To the left. <laughs> yeah. To the left, not to the right. Yeah. I. I don't know. It's crazy. Are we gonna be okay? No. You want smoke? Smoke what? <laughs> <laughs> Crack. <laughs> Weed. Sure. What does Steve have in mind? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we can DMT. smoke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, how much longer do you need on the laundry? A while. A while. Okay. And a cro and a while crocodile. Yeah. <laughs> the words just came out so <laughs> bad. Crocodile. I know what Kirk. Yeah, because we are. Um, we're already at an hour. See what happened. I don't know. Like, what did we even talk about? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, yeah. I mean, we could do... We could, like, pause, take a break, smoke, and then just, like, continue. I don't know if you want to. What else would have happened? Yeah. Like, I don't know. And, like, just do another episode. Okay. Like, we could just, like, bank them. Yeah. I'm sure there's other stuff yeah, to talk about. Yeah, we talk about what we got for Christmas, and I want to talk about what makeup I'm going to do for tomorrow. Yeah. For New Year's. Yeah, because we can't, um, yeah, because I can't have more, like, more than an hour of an episode. Yeah. That's, like, way too long. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, let's end here. Um, this is Buddha and the Beast. Isn't it Parallel Thought now? Um, or is that the reaction? That's the reaction. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, this has been Boot and the Beast. Remember to like, subscribe, do all the things. Let us know um, if your favorite celebrity is on Epstein Island yeah. <laughs> in the comments below. Because it's really sad when they are. I know. It's not okay. I don't think it's... I don't think she's fucking kids. No, I think she's just partying in the USA. It's, but... It's Epstein Island. <laughs> yeah, it is. No. I think, like... <laughs> but maybe, like, all the celebrities are, like traded out with it, like the reptile aliens like we don't know yeah. what's going on it's like there's so <gasps> another thing to talk about is a game i play that you're gonna love <gasps> okay cool all I right love it all right stay tuned for next episode we're gonna talk about a lot of things yeah all right <laughs> bye <laughs>